Okay, I'd like to show you how to type limit notation using the Canvas Equation Editor. So we're going to look at three expressions here. Um, the limit as x approaches 2 of f of x, the limit as x approaches infinity of g of x, and the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of each of x. So these are typical types of standard limit notations that you might need to use. So let's go ahead and tackle this top one first. And in general, just know that um, to get this uh, notation here below the limit, what we need to use is a subscript in Canvas. So let's push that off to the side. And let's go ahead and start with an equation. So click on the pi button to get into the equation editor. Okay. Just backspace out this stuff and start typing limit. And then we'll use a subscript. You can get subscripts off the basic menu here, subscript, superscript. Um, but another way to get a subscript is just to type underscore. So right here I'm just going to type underscore to get a subscript. And then I'm going to do x approaches 2. So that's x. And then an arrow, which I can get off the arrow menu right here. It's right arrow. You can also just type backslash right arrow to get it. And so that's the limit as x approaches 2. Now I need to get out of the subscript. So I'm going to arrow or tab out of this blue box. And then I can put in my f of x notation and tab to get out of that. When I insert this on the screen, you're going to see that I get exactly the notation look that I'm going for. Okay. Let's go ahead and try another one. Let's go ahead and try uh, the limit as x approaches infinity of g of x, so getting in that infinity symbol this time. And we're going to do it all without the mouse this time. So we're going to start with uh, the equation editor. Backspace out this stuff here and we'll do limit underscore x and then that's backslash right arrow like that. As soon as we hit a space the right arrow appears. And then infinity is a backslash infty. Um, you can also get that of course off the miscellaneous menu right there. And you see when I hover over it, it's backslash infty. Um, we'll tab to get out of this box, and then we'll type um, g of x. Tab to get out of that, and we'll insert that to see it on screen. And you'll see it shows up quite nicely on the screen there. Um, the last one we want to do is a right-handed limit. So we'll look at the limit as x approaches 0 from the right of h of x. And so we'll go ahead and get in here go to the equation editor, backspace out this stuff, limit, uh, subscript, which is underscore, x, again we can use right arrow if you don't want to pick up your um, fingers to grab the mouse, and then uh, we'll do zero, and now we need a superscript on that, and a superscript you can get off the basic menu or using a caret, we need a plus on that, we need to tab our way out of this whole subscript like that, and then we'll use h of x. Now it looks pretty awful on the screen right here, but when we insert it into the equation editor, you'll see that it shows up exactly how we want it to with the plus sign on that 0 and x approaches 0 underneath the limit sign. Um, if you liked those tips and they were helpful to you, you might want to get a copy of this little Tips for Instructure Canvas Equation Editor handout. It's got the text that's associated with all sorts of symbols, so you don't have to keep looking them up on screen as well as Greek letter, um, text, etc. down towards the bottom. So if you want a copy of that, just go to busynessgirl.com slash resources slash handouts to pick up your own copy of it to print. And I hope that was helpful.